how to upgrade iOS on Cisco routers using FTP. So FTP is, this is from Wikipedia here. It's a standard protocol, standard communication protocol used for the transfer of computer files from a server to a client on a computer network. It is built on a client-server model architecture using separate control and data connections between the client and the server. FTP users may authenticate themselves with a clear text signing protocol, normally in the form of a username and password, but can connect anonymously if the server is configured to allow it. For secure transmission that protects the username and password uh, and encrypts the content, FTP often secured with SSL, TLS, or FTPS or replace with SSH file transfer protocol or uh, SFTP. So I already, I actually already created a video to, you know, uh, upgrade an iOS on Cisco routers using TFTP actually. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about how you can use FTP as well to copy or to copy the image that you want from the server to the router. Um, this is basically the same procedure that I created, um, except for step number six, because this is where you actually use FTP to copy the image from the server, TFTP server, to the, to the router here. So, I actually have this uh, document from uh, the Cisco website, and it says here that uh, the Cisco IOS software sends the first valid username it encounters in the following list. So here, so this is actually the command that you can use to copy the image from the the TFTP server to the flash of, of the router. So this is this is an example of a copy command. And of course, uh, let me just explain a little bit about about this command. So this is the username, and it's you know uh, we are using this column to separate to separate it from the password. And this is the password. And you can actually uh, you know, verify it here. So username, password, and at. Uh, this is to separate the password from the from the server. And in this case, this is the server. And this is the file name or the image name. And of course, this is the destination. So source which is the FT, FTP server and the destination, which is the, the router here. And um, another way is actually, so that's the first list that the Cisco IOS will, will, will first uh, check. And the second option is actually this, or yeah. So you have to configure you know, the, the FTP username and password in the global configuration uh, mode. And you can actually use this command here, copy FTP, uh, copy FTP and, you know, of course your source, uh, source and destination, flash is destination. And you can specify your, you know, the server IP address and of course the, the, the source file name or the image name and the destination file name is should be the same so you just have to enter press enter and this one here this problem you can always try right so because expectation is this command should use the username that username and password that you have in your global global configuration and that's why I'm not specifying it here in this copy command. And of course, the third, 
list that the Cisco IOS will will use is anonymous if of course the the server the FTP server is configured to to allow it yeah and of course same command unfortunately um, this uh, packet tracer tracer packet tracer that I'm using which is actually version I think this is version yeah version 8.0 doesn't support I already tried it earlier doesn't support the copy command using the FTP as the source so let me just show it to you so I'm just following this here yeah. and then of course the this the IP address of the FTP server and then the file name or the image name so yeah and then same destination file name so it's just gonna do that forever actually uh, it's and of course I already you know confirmed that um, this router has network connectivity to the to the uh, FTP server that's that's not gonna work actually it's gonna escape all right yeah that's all I want to talk about actually in this video I just want to you know, discuss the the commands and how the Cisco IOS actually use uh, the you know the username and password in the global configuration uh, and how it also uses the username and password that you specify in the in the copy command. So yeah, that's, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.